Dear Congregation, Today, I want to address a topic that is often overlooked but has significant consequences in our lives as believers. It is an issue of murmuring. Complaining to seek correction is not only acceptable but necessary for progress. However, murmuring can have detrimental effects on morale and productivity. We can achieve meaningful and sustainable solutions by approaching issues directly and respectfully. The Grecian widows in Acts chapter 6 verses 1 to 5 had a just complaint. They were being neglected in the daily ministry. It was for them to complain, but not to murmur. We live in a world where complaining has become a common habit, but as followers of Christ, we need to understand that God detests murmuring. In this sermon, we will explore the reasons why murmuring displeases God, the dangers it poses to our spiritual journey, and how we can overcome the temptation to complain. Murmuring can be defined as expressing discontent or dissatisfaction in a low or grumbling voice. It is often associated with a negative attitude, ungratefulness, and a lack of trust in God's providence. It is important to note that murmuring primarily relates to inner feelings, thoughts, and attitudes, whereas complaining is predominantly an outward expression in words or deeds. Throughout the Bible, we see examples of murmuring among the Israelites in the wilderness. Exodus chapter 16 verse 7 8 Numbers chapter 14 verses 27 to 36. The Israelites murmured about various things during their journey to Canaan. Some of the common complaints included the lack of food and water, the hardships of desert life, the desire to return to Egypt, and the challenges of leadership. These murmurs often expressed their frustrations and doubts, testing the faith and patience of both the Israelites and their leaders. The spies sent to explore Canaan reported the presence of giants. The murmurs among the Israelites were filled with fear and doubt, as they questioned whether they would be able to conquer the land inhabited by such formidable beings. However, it is important to remember that these murmurs were a reflection of their lack of faith and trust in God's promise to give them the land. Instead of focusing on the giants, it would have been better for them to remember the miracles and deliverances they had experienced in the past. When the Israelites murmured against God in the wilderness, God responded in different ways, depending on the situation. Sometimes, God showed his patience and provided for their needs, while at other times, he expressed his anger and disciplined them. One notable instance is in Numbers 11 v 1, where the people murmured about their hardships and the manner God provided for them. As a response, God sent a great fire that consumed the outskirts of the camp. Some Israelites were not allowed to enter Canaan because of murmuring. When we murmur, we display a lack of trust in God's provision and faithfulness. It implies that we believe our circumstances are beyond God's control or that he is not capable of taking care of us. Murmuring reveals an ungrateful heart that fails to recognize God's blessings and goodness in our lives. Rejoice always in the Lord, Philippians 4 verse 4. Murmuring blinds us to the countless ways God has provided for us and focuses only on what we perceive as lacking. It is often a manifestation of disobedience to God's commands. Philippians chapter 2 verse 14 instructs us to perform all tasks without complaining or disputing. When we murmur, we go against this command and disregard the Lord's desire for us to have a grateful and content heart. Murmuring not only affects our relationship with God but also poisons our relationships with others. It spreads negativity, breeds discontent, and creates division within the body of Christ. Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, uproar, and evil speaking be put away from you, with all malice. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 31. Murmuring hinders our spiritual growth and prevents us from experiencing the abundant life that God has promised. It keeps us focused on our problems rather than seeking God's guidance and relying on his strength. When we complain, we often fail to see the opportunities for growth and transformation that God has placed before us. We become so consumed with our discontentment that we miss the lessons God wants to teach us and the blessings he wants to bestow upon us. We must intentionally count our blessings, focus on God's faithfulness, and choose to be content in every situation. Instead of murmuring, we should turn to prayer and trust in God's sovereignty. When we face challenges, we should seek his guidance and trust that he is working everything for our benefit. Let us remember that God desires a grateful and content heart from his children. Let us strive to be people who trust in God's provision, express gratitude for his blessings, and embrace the growth opportunities that come our way. May our words and attitudes be a testimony of our faith in God's goodness and faithfulness. Let us choose to honor him by resisting the temptation to murmur and instead living a life that brings glory to his name. Thank you for watching this video. Please press the like button, smash the subscribe button, share, and leave a comment.